like you can see those those pictures the ones who are in the supermarket the ones who are buying clothes before they got there they had another level of decision making that they had started to make and the major things are usually when the customer has a need what is the need of the consumer that your brand is meeting do you know that need how will you solve it and the consumer when they have a need uh, they start looking for a solution before they come to your store they have already started searching they could go to the internet they could talk to people they could uh, read around they do a lot of homework before they actually show up at your store so those are the things that a, a business needs to think about and those are the ones that form the process of the consumer decision making so it's all about how they consume how they buy how they they dispose the products that we give them who makes the decision how much time does it take and so it's a long and very complex process yeah so that is what consumer behavior is all about and it involves a lot of things understanding the consumer what is their personality what is their motivation yeah and that is very important for you to think about as a business owner okay. we can continue yes absolutely all right yes and frida you'll check for me if questions are coming up so that uh yeah what I i've asked them to do actually is to put the questions in the question and answer so please yes. put your questions in the question and answer and at an appropriate time, we'll have Edna answer them. Don't put exactly. them in the chat, put in the question yes. and answer. You can carry on. As we continue. So yes. we, we are now in a very different season. I like that um, one of our partners who is a, a trainer and um, we, 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 we have been bringing him a lot on webinars is called Dr. Silad has been told us when we talked about uncertainty. He said, you know, we are saying that we are in uncertain times, but did you know that you are always in uncertain times? You didn't know how today you will wake up regardless of COVID. So as SMEs, we are always wielding in uncertain times. And because of that uncertainty is the reason why we have to be very deliberate about um, working with our consumers so that when they change, we can change. For example, what's happening to our consumers right now? Is there any person here who has at least called 30% of their consumers to check how they are doing right now? Even in terms of feeling, how are they feeling? One of the groups of uh, businesses that are causing chaos in the market right now is schools. Have you had a, eh? <laughs> it's called a dress down or what are people doing with schools? Real fighting. I'm told that there's a school that parents have amassed themselves in a telegram and the school hacked the telegram to bring to tear them down. It's a fight and it is happening virtually. Because Why are they want fighting? People, because schools want people to pay school fees, full school fees. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Schools want uh, parents to pay their full school fees while parents are feeling like they've become teachers of Zoom. They're sitting so, they need, <laughs> so they need yeah. some relief. <laughs> they need some relief. But the, one of the things that schools are not doing is to sit down with the parents and talk to them. And that's what you do with your consumers. Teach you them how to parents. teach. Yes, you, you, no, you don't even teach them how to. You call them and first of all, find out how they're doing. Okay. And their reality. And you understand their reality and their pain. And then you also share with them your own pain as a business owner. And then you see how you will work together in that journey. And that is the same thing that we need to do right now. Our consumers are going through different things. Like some of the ones I've highlighted, they are fear, they're afraid, they're desperate. They don't know when this will end. They, they you know, they loved, you know, like for, I, I can imagine brand, I mean, like I, I love just to going into the stores to, to check on, to buy clothes and to wear and to try try you know that whole shopping experience to wear the shoes just check into vivo and get yourself into different clothes and see yourself in the mirror we can go to vivo right now by the no people are now doing masks they are now doing masks so unless you're going to buy a mask so and then uh, yeah, your so consumers funny. have 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 gone back to the house they are lonely they they are they, 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 they are alone they don't know where they, you know people can go to java is there anyone who is missing java just to sit at Java and have your dawa. You, know, <laughs> you can't make dawa at home. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I'm not at dawa fans, I don't know. 
<laughs> no, you know, some of those things. So, the, 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 and, and I'm sure part of some of our brands here, people are yes. missing our brand. We miss coming to SBM, uh, Frida, for the founders. Yeah, you I know? miss going to SBM CBD, definitely. I love that place. <laughs> exactly. I, we, we are missing that space. I and, do. You know, so th- those, are, th- those are some of the things that consumers are going through and have, have you know, like, ha- have you called them to check? How they are feeling and and what they are now doing. Like, are people now making dawa at home? Have people now discovered the recipe that we always thought that was a, so amazing and almost a mystery? You know, and and what are people doing so that you can? How are people consuming your product? Somebody, Edna, you should hear this. Somebody says dawa at home doesn't taste the same, and <laughs> Abdia is saying I miss the hug. Abdia misses hugging. You know, misses hugging people. Abdia is from SBM Bank. I'm sure you miss hugging too. You know, for I some of us, <laughs> for some of us, we were hugging. born in lockdown and social distancing. We learned I to know. hug when we are very old. We don't shake hands. <laughs> I know. I, I totally miss no. hugging, by the way. Yeah, I'm, a a hugger in chief. I'm a hugger in chief. So I You're miss a hugger it. in chief, you are. <laughs> oh, I miss it. My husband and my family are going through terrible times because they are being hugged too much. My son, I, too tightly. <laughs> For everyone. <laughs> You're so funny, Edna. You know, so what so is, um, when we so call this, our client and they're yes. telling, how should we respond? So you're saying we should call them. Do you it's have some yes. ways of how we can respond? Yes, because they will find you, like for example, right now people are, are struggling with things, you know? So when, when you call them, they will share with you the pain. And as a business owner, you solve problems all the time. That's what we are made for. So if they call you and they like, for example, uh, like the way we are talking about dawa, you know, if you, if they just called and said how they miss your dawa and how can they make it, you know, you could decide to design a online recipe and allow people okay. to now experience it for themselves. Okay. And in that way you will connect. So okay. consumers will feel connected to you that yes, oh, you feel us and you know our pain and you're working on it with us, you know, and then by the time they, you can work with them and how you're waiting for them to come back. And when we are open, we would have a, a, an Adawa party. I you like know? that. You can have a Zoom Dawa party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and when COVID is done, we'd all be in Java places waiting to, for it to open so that we now see whether it's the same as the one we've been making at home. It's, it's, it's about engagement. It's about looking for ways to keep connected with your consumers. Don't worry that they've gone. They're, they're, they're just somewhere hoping that you'd reach out to them. And a lot of people have um, panicked. Everybody's going through their pain, even business owners. So what we've done is actually just be quiet. And um, as you see that image I put over there, that's what uh, Dr. Silad told us. Let's not call it social distancing, but just call it this physical one. distancing. Physical Down dis- there. I like physical yeah. distancing, yeah. Yeah, Let, let's not say social distancing, because what social distancing is making us, even as uh, business owners, is to completely distance ourselves from our consumers. So can we just know that this is physical distance, uh, two meters apart or one meter apart, but we should connect and we should remain connected with our right. consumers. So that's why we are online today. So we are remaining connected with the SMEs, helping them to yes. see what is going on. So I'm wondering, Edna, as you carry on, what are yes. some changes in consumer behavior that SMEs need to be aware of? One of the things is uh, how uh, p- consumers communicate. Communication uh, has all, changed. Okay. Communi- just think about the piece of marketing. Think about the place where people used to buy. That one has changed. We used to buy physically, now we are buying online. So have you placed your products online? Are you in the current channels that people are using? If Even if you are doing a restaurant and we used to come to your restaurant, right now you should be straight up on delivery. Because people are now buying online and getting the food at home. So please continue delivering. I I wouldn't want you to say that people who came to my restaurant, you don't know them. There are a lot of single people who are now in their homes with no food because they never cooked and they didn't know how to cook and they don't want to cook. So continue delivering to them at home. You have described me. (laughs) Yes. And look at the people who are doing the deliveries, the juniors, the globos, and connect with them and partner with them and get your product to their homes. So place has changed. Okay. The, the way people, where people used to buy has changed. Yes. Uh, the other thing that has changed hugely is communication. Yeah. 
the way you used to communicate with your people. Say, for example, you are a salon. You used to wait for us to come to the salon uh, and, and, and you tell us the things that you have there. Now we are not there. You can't see us. So can you find now ways and where people have gone? People have gone to the online channels. How will you communicate? Uh, how, you know, social media, online channels. Are you there? Are you in those spaces? Are you connecting with your consumers? How people buy, um, even the spending has changed. And, and, and if you look at the day they listed, they, they called some things essential services and others, you know? So people are now also changing their budgets. So That's if your nice. offering was considered the other extra, it was yeah. not one of the main ones, then you have to reposition it and repackage it in a way that people can still find value. Okay. You know, for example, this service that you offer, Frida, would easily have been considered an extra, isn't it? But how do you package it for yeah. people to, to find value and make it a main? Because now people for the first time, especially Kenyan... I bring like Edna. I bring Edna yes. on board to talk to them about what they need right now. So it becomes a main. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. you, you know, it, it becomes critical and, and you have positioned it very well. Because now you're bringing uh, tax people, you're bringing lawyers, you're bringing marketers, and people need these kind of services. And so your product, instead of being shelved, it becomes part of the main. And that is the thing. So you have to think about your offering and how you will reposition it, repackage it, for it to become, to come into the, you know, in quotes, essential <laughs> services. And we yes, have so two questions offering... here for you, Edna. As we move on to the next slide, there's two questions here. One person is saying, uh, to what extent do you share your business strategy recipe without getting out of business at the end of the crisis? What would you tell Herina about that? Go, go right again. To what, to what extent? extent? Remember we talked mm -hmm. about sharing a dawa recipe online. So she's asking, to what extent mm -hmm. do you share your business strategy recipe without getting out of business at the end of crisis? Oh, excellent. A very good question. Um, right now, we, we have a lot of things that we do. But what we have been taught by the, the, the online channels is that yeah. nobody is going to own that Coca-Cola formula, eh? the one that they, nobody knows. And yeah. this is the time to give. If you give a bit, people yeah. will want more from you. Because really, there's nobody who owns uh, a certain strategy per se. And that is yeah. the reason why you see global, global businesses put their strategies online. Because at the end of the day, they're even listed in the stock exchange. So right now, if you want to know what Centum is doing, just go to the website and their strategy is there. there strategy, is, is, strategy is how you execute it. The secret, the DNA for your business is how you execute your strategy. It's not even how it's written. So you can share your recipes. They're all over the place. I don't think there's any secret in the dawa or there's any secret in making a certain smoothie uh, like the ones that, um, you, know, like I, you know, like the cocktails of News Cafe. Yes. Yeah, you know, but when COVID opens, we shall definitely be there at News Cafe wanting the, 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 you know, the cocktail the way it's made there. So this time if they called us and showed us how to mix, you know, because the reason why we actually go there is not... Yeah, I like that. If they called, they can even do an online Facebook Live and show us a version we can do at home. Don't exactly. have to show us, you know, because at home also the ingredients we have are going to be different from the ingredients they have in the store. So I like that, Edna. They can show us a home version. And yes. you too, uh, Herina, you can do a home version. You don't have to do the key thing that you do. We have founders conversations, but if you want more, then you come to, you know, you come and get a program. If you want the nitty gritty of market and research, then you have to spend some more time with Edna. So this broadcast is to help you get the insights you need to do something that will take you from one level to another level. And I have another question for you, Edna. Okay. Maurice I hope Edna is happy. Herina, mm -hmm. uh, uh, she, she will, Herina, you can send on the chat if you're happy. You can put your hand up or just put happy there and we'll know. And Maurice <laughs> says, how does an SME obtain detailed consumer profiles of data, age, gender, etc.? How can an SME obtain this? Excellent. One of the, there are many sources of data and there are many ways of doing that. One of the ways we, we do that, especially if you're like a service business like us, we continue developing these services as we go. You know, if you're say coming into the market, there are places where you can buy data. 
the best way of building yeah. um, data for your business is building as you go. Find ways of building and profiling your consumers even before you start the business. I always tell um, SMEs and a lot of businesses, imagine how you would save yourself a lot of money if you had profiled properly and then you package your product and just sell it to the right market. Instead of, you know, like putting so much money, throwing it out there in the dark and then your all those resources are going to probably so many wrong people. Yeah. So the, the, we, we, we have a lot of sources for, for data. I wouldn't recommend this whole thing of going to buy black books from Watchmen so, on the gates. Oh, Please. can you tell us one or two, uh, one or two ways that one can, you said there are many ways. Can you tell us one or two? Then I can just put it here on the answer box for him. Thank you, Edna. Yes. Like for example, uh, if you're in services, like say banks, people are always filling forms and yes. they put all their personal information, their phone number, where they live. Banks have so much data. So that is data yes. that you can use and we call it big data. Then you can mine it and be able okay. to profile consumers using that. Uh, people who are doing digital products, like for example, if you have a pay bill, people are always okay. paying you, you know, and so you can use that to profile. You can use that to call back and now find out, okay, you paid, where do you live? You know, like how many children do you have? Or, uh, you know, you collect consumer demographics using that. Uh, there are many forms that people are always feeling when they come to us. Even today we signed up for this webinar. We put yes. our personal information. You yes. can use that to okay. start building a database. So I continue like uh, find so, ways in your business that you can start building data. You can also buy data. Uh, there are many sources, you know, in, from different uh, Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Uh, I, they don't sell, but they can provide open data, the public data. The fact, okay. Since the data is in the open. You know, data is in so many places. But you need to to be you know you know to 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 follow that there are laws that govern data. Like okay. for example, you can just call Safaricom and ask them to give you data for people. They will not agree. Even Kenya National Bureau of Statistics will not give you all of it. So it's bits and pieces. But as an SME, I would recommend yes. finding ways of building it. Like for example, using uh, payment channels because people are already paying willingly. So they give you their information, the registration forms that we use for different uh, services. And when people have registered, don't throw away. The guest books that people put, even in a restaurant, oh, I was here. Take that information. Use feedback forms. You know, like- Feedback uh, forms. Feedback forms. People can come to your store, make sure that everybody leaves a note on the feedback just about the service. And when they're happy, they will most likely leave their contacts. So you can use, but every day in your business, make yeah. it a data collecting, a data collecting day. I like that. Every day. Every day. Don't, don't let customers just walk in and out of your store. I like you don't that. Know them. <laughs> you're ignorant. You don't know where they are coming from. Collect that data. And if you need us, we can come and analyze it for you. If Fantastic. you have collected it, we are the experts in analysis. So we let, uh, analyze, analyze it for you, including social media data, including who is coming to your website. We'll give you those analytics and we'll help you know who is looking at you, who is consuming, um, you know, who is even looking at your business, who is coming to your website, who is commenting on Facebook. We, we help you to understand, to interpret that data, yeah. to make it insights that you can use to build strategy for your business. Fantastic, Edna. So as we move along, our time is catching up with us. Uh, I know you had a, you had a really cool uh, case study you wanted to share with us. So yeah. on this slide, you say, what can SME brands do? SMEs must find ways of getting through this without losing their valuable brand. And they need to develop new brand propositions and find ways of reaching the consumer. I know you have a client that you're going to share with us. Can I bring that up so you can share with us yes. the client? Of, she has a client she worked with. Of course, we can't use the, the client's name, but she will tell you the industry or where this happened to the client. She helped the client clients move from one brand to another brand, so new brand positioning. Edna, mm -hmm. tell us what happened and how you helped them. Thank you. Yeah. Let me move here. All right. Exactly, yeah. So I think that that slide before just tells you, um, for this time, what, what we recommend is actually yes. to do a lot of market research. This is the time that you can actually use to understand your business, even who has been coming in, sort out the data issues, sort out the customer profiling, segmenting, you know, building strategies for different segments. 
and it, it would be amazing. We'd help you a lot in that. Yeah, Just and so I know you have a special offer for them. So if you stay till the end, Edna yes. has a special offer for how you can do market research during this time of COVID. And I think yeah. she has slashed off quite a bit to just accommodate you. So stay till the end and you'll hear that. And um, Edna, if we can yeah. please go to, if you can please carry on and come to the, okay, finish yeah, this the then next you can tell, I can go to the next slide? Yes. All right, thank you so, so much. Yeah, so we, we wanted to use this just as, a, as an example to show you the impact of uh, market research and how it can, you know, like, change or, you know, like a whole brand. So this was just a group of um, farmers who used to aggregate milk and hook it. You know, they would sell it and processed in especially the low income segments because they thought that those people are happy to just drink and process milk because they thought it's cheaper, they would afford it and all that. When we went in um, and did research, we found that actually um, even among uh, mothers among the, in the low income segments were very concerned about health of their babies. And what were those mothers doing? They would actually buy the processed milk for the babies and do leave the big, the hooked milk for the rest of the family. And, and what is hooked milk? <laughs> hooked milk is the milk that they call in, in the Ukom Tani, it's called Juala. It's put in a paper. <laughs> okay, where does That's it come it. from? <laughs> from in Como, you know it comes from farms directly from okay. the cow to to the to the, to the juala to the juala and to homes and it's a very common scenario in those markets okay and, and that and so when we did research and we found there was a gap but what was the problem how are we how would we solve that problem because yes our mothers really want the processed milk they want healthy milk and everything but can they afford it no they could not afford we, we, we helped the, this business to look at ways of processing the milk and packaging it and making it affordable for that market. So they, they achieved that through packaging. They were able to discover a cheaper pack. And also the way they did the processing, they did not uh, remove all the cream. They left it a bit creamier. Remember, those people wanted something thicker. They wanted, uh, in Kikuyu, we would say kichai, kingi. You know, you know cooking a lot of tea, then you leave it there the whole day. People are just going to fetch, drinking it. So it has oh. to be a bit cleaner. It can be okay. like this processed milk that is, um, you know, very processed. Dilute, yeah. It has no cream, so you can't cook a lot of tea with it. And through that, that, that farmer group now has become a, one of the largest daily, uh, dairy processors who are wow. now doing processed milk. They've even now gone to the high-value packs, uh, the Tetra Pack, They've gone into value-added added products like uh, butter and cheese and all that. So it means that if you applied market research, yes. you can grow your business from an SME to a large business because you can, we, we can help you unearth insights that will help I you like go and to move to the next level. And you can stop calling you SME and you can leave Frida and say bye-bye to the SME founders <laughs> and move on to Kepsa. There is nowhere you are going. Large. <laughs> Even <laughs> Kepsa, we are there. Eh? Yeah, maybe Frida will have to graduate herself now to Google, eh? because we are moving forward, Frida. We to must medium move enterprises forward. and large enterprises. You do know that M in SME is medium. <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> yeah. So ideally, what we are saying is, if we used insights, we would actually discover that some of the things that we are offering, there, there are other gaps that we can solve, and we have the capability. This dairy processor, by the way, had got so much attention. They got funding from the European Union and a lot of people. Today, they, are, they grew from that zero to now about 10 billion and above. So it, it's possible. The market is there. The opportunity is there. It is the information that we need to process. So once we understand our consumers, then we see what are the gaps? How can we solve these problems? You know, Zippy, you can be, you can move from agency to a large broker. You can be the Minette, you know? Because it's possible. <laughs> if that's what she wants. This is if possible. I like wants. that. It is possible. You know, or you can even be the handwriter. You know, it, it's, it's just looking at what are the gaps in the spaces that we are working in and how can we uh, use those insights to grow 
you know, seek funding, seek big things ahead. I like uh, that. Yes. So, so, we, so their we, problem we, was pricing and the packaging. Was, yeah, and, and also when you process, you know, you now sell at double the price. Almost. And then they added, they got some more, they got some more products also, so they could make more money. Exactly. Now they have actually moved to the higher segments. So they're now competing with the big boys. All right. So Edna yeah. can get us from small competitions to bigger competitions. So tell oh, us yes. the process, Edna, as we wrap Inside. up here and allow um, our yeah. partners, SBM Bank, to come on. So tell us the oh. process. What would the process mm -hmm. look like? Yes. And by the way, we have worked for, before SBM, it was Chase Bank. We have worked with them and uh, we helped them a lot in connecting with their consumers, understanding why people used to You go did to a bank. good job because they loved SMEs and they, we, they could communicate with us. So, and exactly. they still communicate with us. So the foundation yes. is excellent. Yeah, SBM is amazing. They're wonderful in relationships and yes. that is why SMEs love them. Fantastic. Um, right. So th this, this process, we put it here because because we know that, um, especially some serious SMEs like uh, ZP, I'm sure they, what is the process? <laughs> so this is just, so uh, ZP, What do you mean some serious SMEs? So that means there are some that are not serious. Be very careful, my friend. We are all serious. We are working hard. We are the backbone of this country. As a camera, you are making Jugukaranga. Please know you are serious. Don't mind it now. <laughs> With her corporate people, <laughs> I, I'm using. Look, and if you know you are serious, put up your hand and tell Edna. Look at me, I am serious. <laughs> Let's put up your hand. Let's all every serious SME. Let's put up your hand. Let's tell and them all the hands are serious. <laughs> yeah, the Where are the hands? And you see, they are coming. Be your be your thirteen. <laughs> Where? <laughs> we are all wonderful. Of uh, you course. Know, I'm a teacher, <laughs> and so I have to find yeah. a student to to bully. To bully, so today I was bullying. You're a great people. teacher, Edna. Okay. Yeah. So this process just shows you how to do it. And and the, the, I, it was it Herina or somebody who asked, how can we share our strategy? That I'm sharing this with you. You can actually do it for yourself. You know that it 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 means. But you know you will you will still call me. So I I we normally get called by people who 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 have actually ask McKinsey to do it for the, that's a joke for another place. Now, <laughs> <Thank this, you. laughs> this process uh, just shows you how to, to build, um, you know, you can collect data, even in your organization. Actually, one of the things I will do is empowering people to do it for themselves. We come into your organization and we empower you. You call us for crafting insights because that's what we love. You know, when you have the data, we analyze it, we get you the insights and we help you convert the insights into strategy. That is our special recipe. But how you collect the data, we, we can help you a lot in packaging it. If you have a call center or even two people in your office, we can help you with getting the tool, getting you to call the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, your, your, your customers, segmenting them, what we call sampling, and uh, being able to collect the data. One of the first step is what is your problem? You must understand what is the problem that your business is facing. Is it acquiring customers? Is it uh, knowing where to place your product? I remember at SME Founders, I, I, I met a lady who was doing vegan. Is she still in the, in the room? The one who she, was doing tofu? Vegan diet. I don't know that one. Uh, I, don't tofu. Know I know tofu Sally. Is a, it's a vegan, yeah. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure her. what. Yes. And, okay. and, 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 and one of the challenges she was facing is um, because she was wondering is it a, what socioeconomic classification should, is it, what market is. It yeah, is Sally. She's the, saying she's there. Oh, great. <laughs> it's Sally you know, we, yeah. <laughs> we are supposed to have a chat about this. Um, so, you know, when you think about segmentation, which segments, what, what is your issue? Please uh, put your issue in that box, the pink one, and say, this is the issue that I want to solve for my business. Okay. Maybe it is acquiring new customers, is packaging the product, is segmenting, is knowing what different segments want, like the tofu lady, um, what are the higher income segments tofu looking lady. for, what are the middle segments looking for, anywhere, anybody who might want to consume your product. Uh, number two is uh, to clarify the objectives, and we normally say you use the SMART model to make sure that the objectives are very clear. Because when we collect data, 
if the objectives are not clear, then we'll have the problem of what we say garbage in, garbage out. We want to collect clean data that is targeted to a certain objective. Once that is done, then of course you uh, agree on the methodology. There are always very many approaches that we use in market research. Um, and that is what guides, based on the objectives, the scope, where we are going is how we develop the methodology. Once the methodology is clear, then we collect the data. Uh, and there are many methods of collecting the data today now because of COVID and actually even before COVID, yeah. the research industry had already moved to digital. So today we use digital tools. Fantastic. We no longer have the forms that we used to come and fill in front of you. Uh, there are things we call focus groups. There are many ways of collecting the data. Once we have the data, then we an analyze it. And once we do the analysis, then we generate a report and what we call the insights. So that is the simple process of um, carrying out a market research project. And I have some questions for you, Edna. Thank you so much for that as we get ready to wind down this session. SBM Bank, I hope Linda is ready. And um, there's a question from Melvin. Melvin says, well, in Edna, market research is very important, building block of user experience and user interface leading to design thinking of product and service development. Do you conduct design thinking workshops? Yes, we do. Okay. And that is the new thing. It yeah. is a new thing, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, we, we, this is all what we are talking about, the HCDs, Human Centered Design. Okay. Um, yeah, so, you know, and that is, uh, that is the new way of doing strategy, you know? So we Excellent. can talk more about that, yeah. One more question. John Zhao says, how can SMEs cushion themselves from litigation on harvesting and use of consumer data? Now, John, you are late because this is what we talked about last week. And uh, you can get the video. The video will be in your email because the email, every week we send out an email and all the videos are in there. So when you see the email from Fashion Profit before you delete or say, ah, Frida again, open it. And inside you're going to get all the videos from the previous founders conversation. Last week, the we had a legal perspective on what to do, how to deal with data from our legal counsel, uh, Damaris Gitonga. So Edna has oh, something. Linda, the, the, the lady is there, Salimwangi. She Yay. is. I told you she's there. She was. She already said, "Here I am, Edna." So hi, Sally. <laughs> we need to talk about tofu. All right. As soon as the broadcast is over, Edna. Thank you so yes. much. So you yeah. can tell us about the special you have while I look for Linda from uh, Linda from SBM Bank. Yes. Edna is the founder of Breakthrough Consulting, and Breakthrough Consulting is a partner with Passion Profit. So as she brings this, she has an offer for you, and she's going to let you know about it. You will contact us, and we'll direct you to her, and um, she's going to tell you what the offer is about. We listen, you profit. Take it away. Yes. So that's what we want to do, because our work is to listen, and we are so good at listening. We want you to profit because that is what your business is all about. So what we would like to do this time, because, you know, apparently we've all been given an opportunity to stop and reset and go back mm -hmm. to our factory settings, rethink. The way we were moving very fast, we had no time. Now we have the time to rethink about our uh, propositions, what we are offering to the market, which market are we offering it to and all that. So what we have um, uh, agreed with Frida is to support SMEs with a survey that would help you build strategy. Um, I'm sure if you have never done a proper market research survey, this is your opportunity. And we are giving you a deal to die for. You can get this anywhere. A deal to it's die for or to live for? <laughs> to live for. <laughs> if this we die, we won't be able to take the deal, will we? <laughs> oh, please be alive for me. So this is a 360 degrees look into your brand. We normally call this a brand audit because we look at the whole spectrum of your business, internal and external, and we look at your customers, we look at your internal operations, we look at the offerings, we analyze uh, the, the, the product against the target market, we help you understand that target market, we bring in the HCDs, we give you the personas of the offering, the people who you think you're talking to, this is how they look like, this is how they communicate, this is how they eat, this is where they go, so that you understand your customers. And this will help you to re-strategize 
and reposition. So uh, did, did the price one go away, Frida? No, we don't put the prices on the broadcast. Thank uh, you. Oh, okay. Yes, so yes. they can contact can you. Us? So yes, what you can you can let me put screen. your, let me just, Edna, tell me your email, Edna. Edna Thiongo at Breakthrough Consulting. Edna Thiongo at Breakthrough Consulting dot com or dot co dot ke. Dot ke. .ke. Dot co dot ke. Thank you yeah. so much, Edna. And as you leave, you can give us your parting shot. What one word do you have for the SMEs? And SMEs, as your dear founders, as you're listening, if you want to put in your name and what it is that you do, Sally, thank you so much. I see you have led the way there. Sally does tofu and the other business owners here. So you can put in what you do. Don't be shy. Whatever you do is what makes you live. So be proud of it. Put it in there. No matter how small it is, it's going to grow. If you want it to grow, it will grow. Please put it in the chat session. Yes, Edna, what would, you, yes. What would be your parting shot for the wonderful people who joined us this morning? Thank you so much, founders and your amazing people. One of the, the best things that you have done is to found something. You have founded a business. You're, you, you have already, you're already working with the people. For me, uh, what I would say from uh, my corner is put the customer in the room. Let the customer be the main thing that you wake up to think about. If you, if you, if you discover, if you know, if you understand, if you yeah. connect, with your consumer, you win in the marketplace. And what we are saying is don't just uh, connect with the customer at the functional level. Functional level is giving the customer dawa. Mm. Everybody, every restaurant can do dawa. But move to the next level, which we call the emotional connection with the consumer, which is a relationship. Now we, are, we, we have been talking about Java all morning. Can you imagine? That's an emotional connection. <laughs> emotionally connected with the dawa. It's not about the dawa now. It, it has another thing. It's a relationship. Yes. That is what we want you to do with your consumers. Move away from just offering them a basic service or a basic product. Connect with them. And that's what we help you. Through insights, because you're relating with them every day continuously, you understand them, you have a relationship with them, it becomes a very tight relationship. And that is how you grow your business. That is how All you right. grow Customers. And if you have the customers, you win in the marketplace because money is in the room and profit is in the room. Thank you so Love much. And I look forward to connecting okay. with you. Thank you. All right. Let's see some hands up for Edna for a good job. People are saying here, Edna, good job. You've given Java a lot of re advertising. Absolutely. Uh, so thank you so much. You are not even in the up. room. <laughs> Let's see some, you can raise up your hands to, you know, that is the way we clap since uh, we don't have an emoji here. So you can just raise up your hands to show yeah. Edna some love. Tell her, Edna, we are happy you are here. Wonderful Thank presentation, Edna from Charity. That's your good old oh, hi, Charity. Great job <laughs> from Morris. And uh, wow. uh, Abdel also said, good job. Good job. Thank Edna, you. thank you so much. And we thank really you. appreciate you being here. Keep up the good work that you're doing of connecting brands to consumers so that yes. everybody can be happy and make more money. All right. Yes, thank so, you. So thank you. We are, you can stay on with us. And uh, I know Linda is here. Let me just make sure Linda is here. Digital banking. Uh, Linda, if you're here, please open, uh, please, uh, I've allowed you to talk. I've made you a panelist. Um, all right, you have some claps coming in there for you, Edna. Wow, thank you. My coffee, my coffee. Uh, all right, well executed. There's a lot of good love coming back for you, Edna. Thank wow, you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you, guys. Um, we are looking for. Madame. And thank you, Frida. This was my first one. Oh my God. You did a fantastic job. You're thank a teacher. You. How can this be your first one? You teach all the time. So it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On Zoom. <laughs> I like what you yeah. said about the Zoom. The teacher is having a hard time with Zoom. <laughs> thank you. I think you should get for them some, day, some insights so that. Uh, <laughs> what yeah. insights can you give them so that uh, they can be taken out of uh, school court? <laughs> I know it's hard, yeah. It's a, it's a hard job for them. And uh, mm. 
Thank you so much. And we're going to look out for you so that uh, the founders can get the goodies that you have given them. All right, mm. this is telling me I can't, uh, I can't do, 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 do. And I'm looking for Linda. Let me see. Um, uh, Linda, hello? are you there? Yes, um, I'm here. Can you Fantastic. Hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Linda Madagaga is the manager digital banking at SBM Bank. And Linda is an analytical self-driven person focused on creating digital solutions that address customers' everyday needs. Edna has just been talking to us about the importance of people meet of brands meeting consumer needs. And uh, Linda is always learning and loves to help wherever she can. Linda is happiest when she is with her dear husband, twin girls, and a son. Raising up her three kids is her greatest purpose. She's computer science graduate, graduate with eight years experience in designing and developing banking products. Linda Habaria Koleo. I thought I saw you there. <laughs> Hello, Linda, sorry. are you there? Yes, I'm here, sorry. Um, okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. I've really tried my level best first 30 minutes to try and get video okay <laughs> um, my apologies for that my pc doesn't have the video capabilities so you'll bear with me yes we'll bear uh, with you <laughs> yeah <Carry on. laughs> all right awesome so um, frida has uh, already introduced me so i'll be taking you through our digital banking offering I'm sure by now we are all thinking, sleeping, dreaming, everything digital. digital. Our conversations, our meetups have even gone digital. This is my first time on Zoom, <laughs> like Edna. So, well, it's a learning, it's uh, a learning, learning curve. curve for all of yes, us. Yes, yeah, for all of us. Yes. So for us, SBM, the moment uh, the pandemic uh, became a reality, we quickly rolled out communication to our customer, advising them to, you know, stay calm. You can go digital. If you need access to your money, we have Kony Mobile and online banking. If you need to receive uh, payments through M-Pesa, then we have solutions for that that will quickly enable SME and our customers to start instantly collecting uh, those payments. Because, you know, Kenya adopted M-Pesa as the de facto payment mode. Yesterday I was at Tamama Boga and for the first time they were struggling with a change of 200 shillings. Yeah. And that's, that's just the, uh, the new reality that uh, we are currently living in. So for us, SBM, what does Digi uh, SBM offer in terms of digital banking? You can bank anytime, anywhere, at the comfort of your home, uh, you know, um, in your premises, uh, um, and offices at your business premises. The services are, that we have is mobile banking. Uh, prefer, this is mostly uh, suitable for individual account holders, SMEs who are sole proprietors. Then we have online banking for businesses that have more than one signatory. Then the services are very reliable, they're secure. Just by a show of hands uh, during this conversation, I'd really like to know how many of the participants already are interacting with this with these solutions, both our online banking and uh, mobile banking. Next slide, Frida. All righty. So we have our mobile banking. It's called Mufukoni Trademark. So basically, banking in your in your pocket, because <laughs> you know so. Most of the time, our phone, if it's not on our hands, it's probably in a handbag or a pocket or on the desk. So it's uh, banking with you wherever you are. It's your bestie, your everyday... Your uh, bestie. <laughs> your everyday bestie, yeah. Hey, right, I like that. <laughs> yes. So you can uh, access the platform in two ways. Either the USSD, 275 hash, you might, uh, during this uh, time, take time to dial that for those ones who are not on board yet. Then you have the application. It's, uh, we, it's available on Android, iOS, Windows Phone, all the three mainstream uh, phone providers. So this is how it looks. It's very sleek. 
<laughs> but very simple. The user interface is clean, simple. Everything yeah. is put well put together. So the services that are available is um, you can do your bill payments. I don't know uh, for founders. One of the key services will be KRA payments. This is a service that was uh, recently rolled out in December. And we've seen a lot of traction on that service. A lot of corporate and businesses are picking up uh, the solution. So you don't need to visit a branch. Right now, even visiting a branch is next to impossible because of the situation that we are in, we are currently in. So you can use um, Fukoni, the mobile application, to pay for your KRA payments. If uh, your premises usually buys a KPLC token, or at home, you can use the same platform to purchase KPLC tokens. You can buy airtime, both Safaricom, Airtel, and uh, Telcom airtime. Those services are available. If uh, for some reason uh, you do not have the Lipan and Pesa pay bill or uh, buy goods at the moment, and you're receiving payments uh, through your mobile number, you can send the funds. Uh, Frida, please go back to the okay. slide. All right, here. I've lost you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you'll I'm tell me when you want the slide to move. Okay, 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 okay I'll tell you. All right. So yeah, you'll see that uh, at the bottom there's a journey that a, a very simple journey, it's a four-step journey for sending money to oh, your okay, SBM yeah. account via M-Pesa. So I know for now, not everybody was able to, you know, acquire a pay bill or a till uh, at the time or by, by right now. So a lot of uh, customers and businesses are receiving funds to their mobile number. So once you've received uh, sufficient funds, and uh, you know, and you know, it has uh, a limitation of three hundred thousand per day, you can sweep that money to your SBM account, and it's free of charge. This is also a really good thing. Previously, there used to be charges on the pay bill for 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 all bank pay bills. But that has also been dropped. We also uh, have dropped account to M-Pesa withdrawal. So you can also withdraw to M-Pesa anytime you need. It's free of charge. There's no charge to that. Uh, Frida, next slide, please. And the no charge is a full-time no charge, or is it a COVID relief thing, Linda? Sorry? You said there's no charge. I know a lot of banks have lifted charges because of COVID. Is that yes. permanently no charge? <laughs> Well, it, it's, Just not, checking. <laughs> it's not permanent, Frida. It's up to um, uh, mid-June. Okay. To just, uh, you know, to really support, uh, the, support, support the, the consumers. You know, everybody is really, yeah, the consumer and whatever is going on. So that's very thoughtful. Collectively for all banks, and this was an initiative driven by Central Bank, where okay. they talked to banks and requested us to just waive waive a few fees on, especially on digital and cashless solutions, which we we agreed to. Okay. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see as 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 the, as we progresses, we we might be able to come to you know a level playing field. We might not introduce <laughs> the charges to what they used to be. We'll see how that will <laughs> turn out. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. okay. So we have, uh, for those ones who I know right now, you know, Netflix uh, stocks have really skyrocketed. But, uh, then in the Kenyan uh, landscape, we have uh, View Sasa and all that. So a lot of Kenyans are just, you know, sitting home, juggling in between work and watching one or two series uh, episode yeah. or a movie. So we have the Go TV. Yes, TV and Zuku, you can pay that from Kony as well. Next slide. Ready? So before I speak uh, on online banking, just a summary on Fukoni. Fukoni is your bestie. You go you with love, it I think you. that's your most favorite, <laughs> <laughs> your most favorite product. <laughs> Personally, I love it. It's just, uh, it's so terrible. Anytime, <laughs> yeah, Pesa Mufukoni. So it has so many services. Uh, maybe I, what I can add on that is if you need to check your balances, to just keep tab of your, your money and your finances, you can easily log into Mufukoni and check your balance. Um, 
the if you need uh, your statement your mini statement your one month three month six month statement whatever period uh, that you may need uh, you can use mfukoni as well just log in or go to the statement section key in the date parameters of the period that you need the statement for and you submit and the statement will be sent to your email address free of charge so logging in is free checking your balance is free, free. statements is free the magic bill payment <laughs> yeah bill payment kra kept buying kpc token zuku dstv all that is free we should clap for sbm bank <laughs> if you're happy about all the free products sbm bank is giving let's see your hand <laughs> Yes, yeah, account and PESA withdrawal is, is free. Right. Yeah. And we have a lot of uh, great things that are coming up. So we, I know maybe for some of you who are probably banked with other banks, you've come to experience PESA link. And that's a service that a lot of our customers are requesting for. So this is something mm -hmm. that we are really trying behind the scene to fast track. It's going to go live this year. Um, mm -hmm. The other services is... Uh, uh, meaning introducing more billers, Nairobi Water, the guys who are on KPLC postpaid, ability to pay straight to a pay bill or a, a buy goods. Those are the services that we're currently working on just behind the scenes. Just show you that we are taking this seriously and we really want to scale our, our value proposition so that every single customer, you may not be on, uh, you know, um, KPLC prepare the token, but maybe on postpaid. So we need to have an inclusive a value proposition that cuts across. That's something that we are really working on day and night. <laughs> then uh, we have online banking. So online banking is uh, mostly suitable for customers who have, uh, of businesses that have more than one signatory where they are two to sign or, you know, three to sign and all that. It works really well in, in, uh, for, for them. So how it works is uh, what, if we have two members who have to sign jointly, we'll set them up on online banking. Both of them will be will be given a checker right. So one of them can initiate the transaction. And by the time they submit the transaction uh, with the OTP, that is considered as one signature. Yeah, then the, the fellow, the... Uh, the joint signatory is alerted by SMS and SMS is instantly sent to the other signatory that uh, say Frida has uh, submitted a payment instruction that is pending your approval. Then now the other, maybe Abdia will log in and uh, authorize the transaction. And now the transaction becomes fully processed. Now the system will process it fully if it's a sending money to a local bank, the money is released instantly and sent to the other bank. If it's a, a KRA payment, money is released and sent to KRA. Then you'll receive an email uh, notification. It's an e-receipt confirming that the payments have, have been uh, processed or the money has uh, been sent to wherever you're sending the money to. So there's also the salary payment services. If you have a, you need to pay your salary for your for your employees then the capabilities are there on on the platform if you're sending money bulk payments to mobile numbers maybe a safari com line we have a template an excel template where you can populate the details of the x number of employees that you need to pay casual laborers and all that then you submit you send it the money is released uh, and sent to the individual uh, recipient. Same case to EFTs. If you're sending money salaries, we have some members, some employees who bank with SBM and others who do not bank with SBM. This platform is able to distribute those funds accordingly. If you're paying your suppliers and service provider and you need to pay more than one at the same time, it makes your work really easy. You don't have to go paying every single a recipient or supplier or employee so really made that your work really easy for you to worry about other things but not banking so banking we've taken care of that okay. in terms of Absolutely. payment yes yeah so to access our online banking you just uh, type in 
uh, sbmbank.co.ke, our dedicated website. Then at, right at the bottom, there's a tab, online banking. When you click on that tab, then it brings you to this page. It's a very simple login process. Your username, that's, that's the username that uh, you chose the first time uh, you were set up. Password, Pinyako, Siriako, you're the only one who knows. And uh, just to mention, please do not share your, your password with anyone. And also, especially when it comes to businesses, you'll find maybe uh, they've uh, requested for the finance uh, administrator to be there, the maker, the person who initiates the transaction, then the signatories only. Sign. So you'll find maybe the finance manager is out of office and uh, they need to do an instruction to submit a transaction, then there's that tendency of sharing your password with maybe your your deputy or uh, your coworker. That's something that we really discourage our our business customers from from uh, do from doing that. So your pin is yours. If you need uh, more than one person to be set up maker so that they can initiate transaction for you, you you only worry about authorizing. Then just uh, come to the bank, write to us, and tell us that. I need an extra uh, person to, to be initiating transaction. Yeah. So these are the services that are there. The same service that are on mobile are also on online banking. But online banking is uh, more superior in terms of, uh, uh, you know, the experience, especially for SMEs. Maybe you want to check your statement. If you have a loan Sorry with the bank, that. if you yeah. have a loan with the bank, online banking has the capability to check your loan statement. This is one capability that's not on mobile. So I'll, usually we encourage customers who have who prefer the mobile platform to also equally have access to online banking, especially when uh, you want to, you know, uh, track your online payments and your online statement. If you want to do bulk payments, you want to pay more than one person at the same time, the capabilities are only available on the online platform. So it's, it's a way to just encourage your adoption of also online. There are also the limits. Mobile banking, if you're sending money, account to a person withdrawal per transaction is, uh, for every single transaction is 150,000 that you can send maximum. Then maximum per day is 300,000. Uh, then uh, if you're sending money to a local bank, maximum per day is 500,000 and per transaction is 500 for the mobile man banking, the Mfukoni. But if you want to send uh, more than half a million, then oh. we usually encourage customer to use online banking. Online banking has more superior advanced um, uh, limits. So for online banking, sending money, if it's uh, sending money to another bank, the maximum is uh, 2 million. So you see there's that benefit. So we've made it in a way, just balanced it to ensure that customers are really using both the platform and both of them have their own strengths and their own uh, benefits. Then there's also the check that I'd like to speak on. So if you've received uh, an SBM check, an SBM branded check. You do not need to come to the branch right now. You just uh, you log into your online banking or mobile banking. For mobile, you take a, a photo of uh, the SBM check and you submit. The money in two hours, money will have credited into your account. For online banking, it's you key in the details, the checklist number, the serial code, the name on the check and all that. You, you, send, you submit to the platform. And our system is able to pick that and uh, process it, and the monies will be uh, settled into you, your account. Outward check at the moment, we are not um, processing that because of the complexity. Inward, it's easy for us because uh, the checklists are the ones that we have issued by ourselves. Um, then, you know, people are phasing out checks. A lot of, uh, we have become accustomed to instant, instant payment. That's why PESA link is really picking up well. And PESA is, you know, uh, the rooftop doing really well. So check is something that it's a good to have, but it's, it's one of those legacy solutions that's slowly being phased out. Um, next, please. There you go. 
Did it really, is that the next one really? Yes, this is the third okay. solution. All right. Mobile yes. to bank. What's the difference between mobile to bank and Mufukoni? <laughs> okay, so Mufukoni is the mobile platform. It's the mobile app. Yes, the mobile okay. app. Then we have the online banking. Then mobile to bank is, um, it's, it's, um, it's more suitable for business. Uh, customers so primarily it's about how do we connect the customer to immediately start collecting and pesa payments and rerouting those payments to credit their sbm account in real time so assuming you have a pharmacy and you have customers who are walking in they're paying you with m pesa 200 500 800 you we, we issue you with a pay bill or a buy goods so this as the moment those payments are being made to the pay bill, your SBM account is instantly credited in real time okay. to the fund. So we've eliminated the headache for you to, you know, log in to Safaricom and initiate a withdrawal to bank. So you don't have to worry about that. Every oh, tiny yeah. single little payment is sent straight to your bank account. Yeah. So all your monies are collecting the bank account in case mm. you're busy at your shop, at your business, and uh, you need to make a payment, you know, you don't need to come to the branch or you don't need to initiate. The money already in your account waiting for you to utilize them uh, however you may wish. The other good thing about uh, this uh, value proposition or this um, solution is your turnover, the amounts that you're collecting through the pay bill or the till, we are able to use that to quickly do a credit score for you. So in case you need a credit and maybe you have inflows, turnovers of say 5 million, then it's very easy for the credit team to quickly score you for a loan and facility and the money is disbursed to you immediately. Yeah, and you know, once the pay bill, if if SBM is the one that's acquiring the funds, receiving the funds from your pay bill, it's um it's a one-time setup, and the money will always we know for sure we are guaranteed that money will collect into our account. So we we've eliminated all those risk of maybe a customer will will default on payment or anything. So this collection is basically what is used as security. So it's a really good solution that we usually encourage our business customers to adopt, especially right now where M-Pesa is uh, the, you know, the default payment uh, solution method, yeah. method that uh, Kenyans have adopted. And uh, you know, uh, it's a good solution to have. Um, by the time COVID happened, we had customers who already were on board on these solutions. It's a good thing. It's really working for them. They, they're not having any headache of uh, receiving payments. So there are two options that will give you, the buy goods or the pay bill. So the pay bill, how it works is the this people one. who are paying you for services. It's okay. There's something, is this, is there's some, your so slides this, are automatic or something. So there's something <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Which slide do you want? Because they go back and forth. Okay. Uh, this maybe one there's some automation on it. Um, no, it's, are you it's talking okay. about the buy goods? Yeah, the buy goods. All right. So, so once sorry we, about that. You said you have the buy goods option that you can have the till number and the pay bill. Yeah, and the pay bill. Is there an I'm advantage just, of having pay bill over till number? Does it matter? Uh, well, uh, in the, when, speaking from the context of a business customer, yes. uh, depending, pay bill, the advantage to the SME or uh, the founder is yeah. you will not incur any transaction charges. The charges, payment charges are borne by the the person who's paying for the services or the goods, okay. yeah. Okay. Whereas a till number, yeah, the the payee Kenyans who are paying to you will not yes. incur any charges, but yeah. you as a business are the one who will bear the cost for that transaction. Got it. 
So those are the two different. So we'll have businesses who are okay to take up a till. Yeah. So that to attract and encourage customers to pay through M-Pesa. But then they, they, they know that they, they need to smartly mark up their charges, their, their costs, so that smartly, uh, like it that. covers, they're able to recover whatever charge that Safaricom will collect. And also just to, to let you know, these charges, the bank is not making anything from that. These charges are all, you know, money that uh, Safaricom collects because they've, they've invested heavily to just build the, the platform and, yeah. and the infrastructure. So, yeah, those are the two differences. Then uh, for Paybill, Paybill has two options. We have an option where we have, we have customers, I mean, businesses who will take up a Paybill and uh, they will, they prefer to take up the cost of the transaction. So Paybill, you have two options of Paybill. One Paybill where all the costs are borne by the person who's paying yeah. or the business or the merchant, mostly hospitals and schools prefer to do this. They take up the cost of the transaction and uh, it's suitable for them. Paybill is very suitable if you're in the nature of business where you need to do a lot of reconciliation, maybe schools, you need to know yeah. which student paid for, for school fees, hospital, this money came in, but who is it meant for, which hospital bill, you know. Yeah, I like that it has the name option. I really yes, like it has, that. Yeah. Yes, it has the name option. So it's very suitable for those nature of businesses where you really need to, you know, do your reconciliation, you need to know for sure this money came from, you know, uh, Kesubire, or this money came from Edna, you know. I like that. Yes, yes yeah. That's so I'd already mentioned this. It's mostly a collection. There's a mix of the services. You're able to collect, okay. you're able to do payments. If you need credit, the bank can easily do a scoring and uh, uh, give you a, um, a facility. So these okay. are the two differences. Uh, and the bank will give you the marketing collateral. So we have the tent cards that uh, I had shown earlier. Just please go back. This one. Then, All right. Then this we one. Have or the, the tent yes, card. Yes, these two. No, the tent card that already shown it. That's mostly for restaurants. Like love, love the tent card. Because <laughs> it sits on the table. It sits on the table. Then um, a good number of our customers prefer the sticker. So we give them a, you know, a template like this one. So it's easy for them. They can uh, indicate their Empresa pay bill or uh, their till, till the number. numbers. They populate then. It's a sticker vinly. You remove the back, uh, whatever. Then you stick on your wall and it stays there permanently. <laughs> this is so really when, your passion. <laughs> so when a customer comes okay. in, they're like, <laughs> Some will even, it's very visible. It's easy. Putting in a place where it's easily visible. No, no, yeah. That's right. So that's right. So maybe uh, for those cast for customers, okay. yeah, you can move on. All right. So this is an alternative to, it's a very quick alternative way to, for our existing customers to start collecting and pay a payment, yeah? Because now the pay bill and the till, it has uh, a bit of KYC that you need, uh, the bank needs to oh, collect okay. on behalf of Safaricom. Most of the time they request for CR12. Okay. Um, board resolution, okay. KRA pin and ID, and uh, work permit, you know, a photo, of your business premises, if it's a website, you send them a photo of your website. So this the the, the KYC is a bit heavy, and uh, it's it's a requirement by the regulator. You're aware that uh, Mpesa has uh, been misused a couple of times. Remember the yeah. Lucid uh, story and all that. So these are measures that very stringent stringent measures that were put in place. But that doesn't stop us from, you from know, still it. collecting, from using it, yeah? So in case you're stuck and you don't have your own dedicated pay bill or uh, till number, yes. you can immediately start using the bank's pay bill, 552800, instead of receiving money to your M-Pesa number. So you can display this and say, you know, 252 or 552800, then the account number is your 
your 13 digit SBM account. This is for those ones who, you know, at the moment you're receiving a lot of customers saying that Nazalifa na Mpesa and the only option that you have is your telling them to pay to your mobile number. You can yeah. alternatively tell them to, uh, to, you know, pay straight through the pay bill, then the account details, they put your SBM account details, especially if your your high volume uh, yes. transactions and the 300 daily limit is a bit of a, uh, an inconvenience to you. This is a, is a really good alternative for for that, that solution. Thank you so much, Linda. And we are coming down to the end of our time. Do you have any last thoughts that you'd like to tell the founders Thank you so much for giving us a very extensive uh, talk on online banking at SBM Bank. And of course, the first thing that you need to do is start a relationship with SBM Bank. Then you can enjoy all the online stuff that uh, Linda has so graciously shared with us. Linda, any thoughts that you would like to share with the founders as we wrap this up? Thank you so much for that elaborate uh, ex explanation and sharing. Well, just um, to really thank uh, founders for, you know, banking with us and choosing SBM as their, uh, you know, uh, financial service provider. And we are here for you. You are the ones who have thank made you. us who we are. Absolutely. So thank you so much. And we thank wish you, you all the best. We are here for you. Yes, all the thank best you. in your Biasharas. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much, founders, for showing up today. This recording is going to be in your email. Look out for it on Mondays, and you will get all the recordings for April and all the recordings for May. Edna, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. Every founder out there, thank you so much. Fashion Profit Team, thank you for making this possible. And um, SBM Bank, as usual, thank you for joining us this morning. And Founders Network continues to have stuff for you. So you can visit us at uh, www.smefoundersassociation.com for more information or dial the number on your screen and you'll get more information. It is now 10.01 and I wish you a fantastic day. See you next week on Thursday. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh, bye thank you so much, Edna. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.